Hi friends, this is Joy Banerjee from AIK to support. In the last video, you have seen that we have created a script on that. If you have not seen it, you can go back to our channel and do subscribe our channel and check it out the last video. And uh, it shows how to really uh, create a script uh, to check the installed uh, softwares in the specific uh, multiple servers. And now in this particular video, what we will do is we will try to create a script which is going to uh, install a software into a multiple machine. So ultimately we need to do the things in stages. So what happens is we need to uh, we need to copy a particular file or a exe which we need to install to a particular machines on which we have the list. Let's say we have 10 servers, 50 servers on which we need to install it. And once we uh, need to copy that particular exe from our source to the destination server, then we need to install it, uh, install the application without any um, user interaction. Okay, so that means we need to install it silently. So uh, let, let's see how we can do it. So I've already created a script. So I will walk through and let you know how to do it. So before that, uh, I just want to share that we have the same uh, file which we have created last time. Uh, let me open that for you. If you go to ctemp and we have the servers.txt which has two servers. Okay. And uh, we are going to focus on two servers. And uh, the, now I will show you the command. Uh, okay, so before that you can see these are the two servers on which we have uh, run this particular script which we have created previously it shows uh, these are the softwares are installed one is Microsoft Visual uh, C++ 2008 redistributable and VMware tools and that said nothing else okay so now we are going to install active reader as well so I will show you how what we are doing so this is a script which we have uh, created okay so I've downloaded the script from uh, uh, from the uh, Adobe. Uh, I've downloaded the file from the Adobe site, so you can download it. I will share the link in the video so that you can download in case you want it. So <clears throat> the first thing is very simple. The same criteria and same method we are going to use. Let me clean this particular screen so that will make you understand clearly. So the first thing is we need to create a variable uh, here we always create a variable called servers which is going to uh, get the content from a txt file which has a list of the servers. There can be a possibility that you have multiple servers like more than uh, 10 uh, even uh, 50 servers on which you are to act. So you what you need to do is you need to go to that particular temp directory and wherever you have that particular file just update and add your servers here. Okay, So it will run on each and every servers which are listed in the particular file. So what next? So in this particular uh, uh, script, we need to have a source location. Uh, in in C install, what I've done is <coughs> I've downloaded the Acrobat Reader. I've copied it, okay, and it is there in C install. So what will be our destination? So destination is C dollar, okay, because C dollar is the hidden share in each and every machine. You can see. I have mapped the C dollar of N1 machine. You can see whack whack N1 C dollar, and now I can access it. So it shows that from which ID I'm running this command, I have the privilege to access the C dollar. So it is mandatory, uh, whatever the ID you are going to use and run this particular script, that ID should have the privilege to access that particular share. Okay. So in our case, destination is C dollar. After that, we need to test. I've just created a variable that it test that this location is valid or not unless it is going to not run this particular command and go ahead okay so again we are using the same loop here like we are using for each so that it can uh, do a server in servers okay s-e-r-v-e-r -E so this is the entries on which that particular txt file uh, has so it will run on each and every uh, computer one by one okay Okay, so next is what we will do is we are going to copy uh, this particular item from the source. This is our source and into the destination and this is our destination C dollar and it is recursive and forced. So we are just pushing it out forcefully so that it can copy the data which we want to copy that is the installer exe. Okay, so next thing is we need to test. So we are using test path 
and dollar test path that this is the path it is valid or not then it is going to run the command so here we are doing a little bit of change uh, we are running a command called invoke command so that means that particular command is going to run inside that particular machines powershell and that means we also require a winrm to be enabled that means window uh, remote management should be enabled so that it can <coughs> run this command and initiate the invoke command okay so in the invoke command we are just mentioning the dollar server which is the first entry or the entries which are going to pick one by one uh, from this particular content dot um, the server dot txt file and then we are running a script block which is going to push like powershell exe c install then the installer and then it is going to install the msi and no restart for all users and we are just make, uh, doing the license terms and agreement as yes so it is going to accept it and it is going to also write up like a write host in a green color the installation is successful along with the server name so that we can understand okay this server is completed if it is not completed successfully then it is going to pop out in red along with writing the server name and it was not online or installation has failed it's going to write up like this okay so you can see I have created the file and uh, I've created uh, I've tried to map uh, this n1 as well it doesn't have the folder so before running this and in the previously just starting it we have uh, seen that what are the softwares are installed so that I will do uh, appviz.cpl it is going to show me that what are the softwares are installed you can see these are the softwares which are installed so I will close this after this completing this particular script I just want to see uh, what else is installed okay so what I will do is I am going to navigate to our folder which is CD temp I do ls and it has scripts and I will do ls okay I need to write CD instead of CS okay so then I will do ls and these are the scripts which I have I will do a CLS here and do LS here again so now you can see I need to run a command and the script which says software hyphen install okay so previously we have run a script which is software hyphen install it is going to list and pull the information about the softwares which are installed in the soft in, in the servers okay so this time we are going to install our package and it is going to install silently without any user interaction okay so let's see how it does so I will be using this I will use tab and this time I will select this and I will hit enter okay so it says uh, I have something which is not correct so uh, let me just do a CLS and fix it here okay because I was trying to um, make it in a different uh, layout so uh, now it seems to be correct I just want to check once more okay and this time I will hit it again okay and it says the company name is empty okay let me see where is the issue now test connection cannot validate the argument company name test connection okay okay so uh, what happens is um, I have made the changes but I have not really saved it okay I will save it and this time uh, I will do a uh, sorry uh, control Z okay I will do a control Z and this time I will do LS and I will do And now I will hit this okay now you can see it is running and I am uh, eager to see uh, okay because it has already been uh, an another process okay no problem uh, the file is already exist there so I just, I'm eager here when it really jumping into n1 and it creates the folder here 
so what I can do is I can really um, uh, pause this particular video and move ahead when it creates a folder here So if I do, uh, if I go to the task manager, you can see uh, this is running in the back end. Okay, so Adobe Self Extractor it is running in the back end. So that means it is initiated uh, this uh, installation. Okay, so let's pause it and see how it moves. So now you can see we have a message says uh, installation is successful on localhost, and now if you see here. It creates a install directory in the N1 as well. It was not present here. Okay, and now it is going to install in the next server, which is our N1. Okay, so once it is done, I will do a quick validation that the package is installed successfully or not. Okay, but for this server, I can uh, check it out. I can run appbase.cpl, and if I open, now I can see Activate Reader installed in this local host. So I just want to wait and come this this script get complete on N1 as well and then I will show you how it looks on N1 as well. Okay now you can see uh, this is successful and N1 is also shows in green. Okay so quickly what I can do is you can uh, we have verified that the install directory is there and the package is copied on N1. So what I will do is I will wipe this out and I quickly run our previous command which shows what are the packages installed on both servers. So I am running it and this time we are able to see the acquired reader as well once this particular command is complete. So I will be pausing this video once it is throwing the output I will show you up. So now you can see uh, it is able to show that Acrobat Reader is installed in DC1 and now it is processing on N1. So let's see uh, it should record the Acrobat Reader there as well. So now you can see it also show up Acrobat Reader DC and it is 17.0. So that means our previous command was successful uh, and the script was working and uh, the Acrobat Reader is installed. So I hope this particular video is informative and if you like this just hit the like button and if you want to see the previous video on which we have created the script and explain how we really created it so you can shoot out to the video link right in the description or go to our channel subscribe our channel and to see more videos like this and you if you hit the bell icon so whenever I post a new video and you will get a pop-up message on which you can very easily see and check out the latest update on our channel so thank you very much so this is Joy Banerjee signing off from AIK ID support